y'all welcome back i hope you're all doing really well and i hope you're in the mood for a nice action-packed thriller because that's what i've got for you today you might have heard of this author if you've watched my channel much because i've told y'all about four different books from one of his other series the jack west jr series and now i've got the second installment of his shane west or shane schofield sorry series it's the author matthew riley and this one today is area seven and my old bookmark because for some reason all my bookmarks keep going missing and they were lord of the rings too so that's extra sucky i'll have to find some more <laughs> but what this one is is it's shane schofield or as most people call him scarecrow is i read the first one in this series years ago and really liked it that's actually how i ended up picking up some of his other novels and that was ice ice chasm ice, i it's been a while i have to look that one up i'm sorry but it was basically yeah they were in some you know secret hidden base in antarctica and attacked by bad guys and killer whales and just everything it was action-packed craziness and i loved it and then he made an appearance in the jack west jr series in the four legendary kingdoms him and jack west had to fight each other at one point but yeah i'll let y'all figure out how that went if y'all wanna pick that up i actually still am trying to get my hands on the last two books of that series so one of these days i'll find them <laughs> But in this case, we're basically, you know, it sets off like it's going to be just boring, you know, lame old, just duty. Eh, we got to do what we got to do. Political crap. And then it quickly turns into all kinds of other stuff. Because to set this up is basically the president's on, he's ditched Air Force One and then he's on his, you know, special helicopter checking out these two Air Force bases, areas eight and area seven where they keep all this stuff that we're not supposed to know about the really cool you know planes and helicopters that are super hush hush and some other stuff that we ain't supposed to know about but like eh, we're just escorting the president checking out some air force bases Blech. and then that all goes to hell and it becomes <laughs> A lot more than your regular, you know, scheduled stop at a few secure bases. Because, as we can easily tell, and they eventually find out, yeah, one of these bases has been breached. <laughs> and there's a lot of dead bodies, and some very bad guys are hiding out in this base. And there might be some other, like, we don't know how, but there's definitely some something kind of going down because we've you know start off with yeah there's this big you know evil guy that's being put to death or is he we thought we'd heard the last album but yeah that's not suspicious and telling us that that lethal injection wasn't really lethal no that totally couldn't figure that one out well we just don't know how he's gonna play into it and how he plays into it is worst bad guy idiot ever. Is what happens is this guy that they killed but clearly didn't kill, and his other you know traitorous buddies have taken over the base and implanted the president with this thing that, yo, know, if they kick his butt, he's gonna die, and so are a lot of other people because yo. Know, Pretty much what he had a open heart surgery and they use that to implant essentially like the trigger to a bunch of yeah you know, very destructive items linked to 14 different airports with a 16 mile blast radius and their thing is well you suck so if we kick your butt and kill all these innocent people then that means that we're really good and deserve to run this country because we don't kill innocent people. Except for that we prove that we're worthy of being the new presidents 
by killing people in 14 different cities. Because shame on you for being bad and letting innocent people die. So, yeah, they might be really stupid. It's like, your whole theory is you deserve to run everything because you wouldn't kill innocent people and you're going to prove it by killing innocent people. Yeah. So they're dumb, but if you can ignore that, I mean, that's kind of... How many megalomaniac bad guys are actually kind of all there and all that, right? They're just evil. So we've got, you know, the Secret Service and his, you know, other military detail trying to teach the president, okay, you're going to have to actually stop being a nice guy and have to kick some butt. Or at least you better be in better shape than most of these have been and learn how to run because we're running out of power. There's criminals, not just the ones that were used to be on the government payroll as soldiers, but... We are also hiding some really traitorous, murderous people and some bears, apparently, as well as some biological weapons and the possible cure for them, which I'll let you find out what that is because that is a major plot twist. It's not just a, here's a vial of something. No, it's way more convoluted than that. And the whole time, it's just fight and fight and fight after fight. So, maybe not the deepest book ever, but considering the whole amount of people that are in there, there's no guarantee that anyone besides our title character is going to live. And the way that they pull off all of these stunts and all the different things that they use, it's fun and it would make an awesome summer blockbuster. I mean, they're blowing up planes and trains and buildings and all kinds of crap. There's a boat chase through some canyon and the couple helicopters get in on it and it's just a good old shoot 'em up espionage take over the world action. Yo. It's a novel that I would really love to see as a movie. And there's also a lot of sass, which I friggin' love it. Like, one of the characters' names is Mother. And it's not because she's this, you know, sweet, you know, lady that's looking out for all the other guys in the unit. N no, it's short for something that... I'll let you finish the other half of that word. <laughs> Put it that way. It's the one that I should not say in case your little kid walks by. And she's giving Scarecrow crap because a couple of them have crushes on each other and are too stupid to figure out how to do anything about it. So, yeah, there is a lot of mouthing off and giving each other crap between, yo, know, fist fights and taking shots at each other. So, yep, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I don't know how many are in this series, but... Yeah, he's been in two books so far that I've really enjoyed, so I'm hopefully going to find a third one by him. I hope you enjoy this, and I will see you next time. Bye! Happy reading!